Well, I am no longer stomping everybody. I am lying down as per that cheetah. And uh, I am lying next to the entrance burrow to a bush of a bushfelt gerbil. And the bushfelt gerbil is a rather interesting entrance burrow, or burrow generally. It's apparently got a whole lot of chambers in it, and those are lined with sort of leafy debris where they like to rest, which is very nice. I don't know if this one's active, because normally an active one apparently has got a ramp of sand, a fresh ramp of sand outside it. But this one doesn't seem to have a fresh ramp of sand. What it does have, however, is a very distinctive path that moves away along through here. Now what Fergus is going to do is demonstrate to you what it must feel like to be a bushfelt gerbil. And while he does that, I'm going to read you something which I've just read, which I think is one of the most hilarious things I've ever read. And it goes like this. Ultrasonic vocalizations include long whistles, which consisted of rapid dance sweep, blah, 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 blah. A post-copulatory song performed by the male was recorded after two observed copulations. It consisted of a series of whistles over a period of about one minute. Now, I don't know about you, but the thought of a bushfelt gerbil crooning away post-copulatory, uh, I, I just think is too amusing for words. Anyway, apparently that's what they do. They're singers after the act, which I think is quite sweet. Uh, 